make a glass bottle maker. Actually, I, I feel like this should be pretty easy, right? So what we do is we... Okay, this, this is actually an interesting idea. I like this one. I actually really like this one. So we're going to make a mold. A spot here where the molten glass falls in and then it gets compressed again. Oh, it doesn't even need to get compressed. We can just... Uh... Alright, here we go. So yeah, all we have to do is we have to fill... Fill this mold and uh, cool it down. Alright, so here's the plan. I'll use something that has rather uh, high ability to pick up heat in the middle here. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some freeze powder in the middle. This will cool down this iron and it'll get this ceramic here very cold. And then what we're going to do is... Actually, we don't want this in the center because we need the bottom to become solid first and then go up actually uh almost made a mistake there because otherwise it'll get stuck okay so there's an issue by the time we heated it up enough to become molten it kind of just went straight through our ceramic i don't know what the temperature limit is on ceramic but it's pretty high okay i think i think i just got a little bit ridiculous there i don't I think I just made a big, big old mistake. So we're gonna have to do something to keep. <sighs> hmm. Ending. All right. So this uranium is heating up. We just have to balance it so that it doesn't get too hot like that. See, that is the issue. Uranium can get very hot very quick. We just have to balance it. Got up balance it let's go ahead and turn on ambient heat as well because that's going to help us with this balancing game because we're able to spread that heat out a little bit more uh, let's see what we can do all right 600 700 800 now the idea is that the glass itself should actually help um, or the sand. It's going to be sand. So we're going to have clone. Sake of keeping this from melting down, I'm going to put a few pieces of freeze in just to keep this chamber from exploding. That should help a tiny bit with the outside. Um, yep, we are seeing a slight reduction in temperature. But we need to increase the temperature here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this uranium and I'm going to put a little bit more uranium in here to make this gap a little bit smaller. Wow, it's 5,000 degrees in there. It's just having a lot of trouble heating up the glass. Um, oh no, we're losing the pressure because the... Oh no because we need at least one layer of titanium to hold that pressure in. Let me just grab the cool. We All right. All right. Nice nice and cool. Okay, cool. What? It immediately <laughs> Wow, it does not wait at all. Well, maybe, maybe too much. Okay, 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 okay. This is, this entire strategy is probably very flawed. Now, one thing that makes heat in the powder toy, which is quite realistic, is running a current through wire. So what we're going to do is we are going to do literally exactly that. We are going to run a current through a wire and we're going to see how much wire is required to hit the temperature we need. So this right here is at 500 degrees. 
Not enough, though. This here is now at 600 degrees. But what we're going to do is we're going to put insulation on the bottom. Insulation at the bottom. This is a little suboptimal. It's immediately having issues. Um, it just cools down so fast. If we turn off ambient heat, this will probably be a lot easier. Yes, a lot easier. Maybe we'll just do this without ambient heat on. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, the issue is that the, it's becoming broken glass. So, like, the... The good news is the molten glass did go into the thing. Oh, wow, we actually lost some of the tungsten. Oh, and our insulation burned away. Oh, man. I'm a dum-dum. Okay, one, one, one second. All we need to do is get the tungsten and run it through this. Like, legitimately just warm up the entire mold and then we can just turn the power off when we don't need it hot anymore. All right, hopefully this doesn't destroy like all the heat generation. All right. Oh, 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 here we go. Here we go. Here we go. She is hitting the temperatures. Okay, we just don't want it to overheat. All right. All right. We have molten molten glass filling the entire mold, I believe. Okay, now we cut the line. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. And now, if we wait a moment, is it gonna happen? Is it, is it gonna be here? Oh, yes. 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 Oh, there's a little bit of broken glass and I don't know why. Why, why would it break? Is it the pressure? Is it because there's pressure in it? I'm legitimately not sure why it's breaking. There's like some of it's proper glass and some of it's broken glass. It's gotta be pressure. Um, we just, we just need something to... Okay, uh, let's go ahead and add pump to balance out the... Balance out the temperature. So this is gonna make all the, the, I mean not the temperature, the pressure. Okay, okay, we have balanced that out. Let's go ahead and turn the heat back on and see if we can fix this now. Oh, uh, the battery exploded again. It's unfortunate. Turns out when it's not connected to the line, there's nowhere for the heat to go. All right, turning the furnace back on for a take two. This time the pressure should be a lot more reasonable. Should be. Please. Uh, what is, what is the safe, what is the safe pressure range? It's <laughs> a good question. What, what does the pressure range need to be within for the glass to not break? All right, it is all liquid molten glass now. Uh, let's see what happens this time. I mean, we are controlling the pressure. It seems pretty reasonable to me. It's not above or under one. We have molten glass. Will it turn into glass or broken glass? That is the question. Glass! Yes! 
Okay, and I don't see any broken glass. No, there is definitely broken glass. I mean, we have more normal glass this time. But it's... It's... It's a toss-up. It's... It's a toss-up. Okay, well, you know what? Even if the bottles we're making are half-broken, really, if you think about it, that's fine. You know, you just grab the bottle, it falls apart. I think we can consider this a win, for the most part. I think we will continue our uh, experimentation in building a glass bottle factory in the future. Um, I think... I think we have room for more experimentation. I hope you guys on Valor show me some of your designs, and next time maybe we will get back to it. So, thank you all for watching. Thank you for watching the stream as well. Uh, new channel, Emperor Spike, link in the description if you want to catch those live streams. Big shout out to Valor, which sponsors this channel. Uh, Valor is my community chat platform. You can join at valor.gg. Valor is all about community, uh, building communities, and interacting with communities. It's fast, it's free, it's a fantastic time, and there's communities on there already that I think you will enjoy especially the powder toy community where you can share your powder toy creations and stuff. So I will see you all next time.